New information on an exclusive story that we have been following for weeks. More issues with Job One and the hundreds of teens and young adults across the city who still haven't received their pay from the city of New Orleans. WDSU reporter Shay O'Connor is live at the Job One Center in Central City with how City Hall is responding. Shay. Travers, that's absolutely correct. I've reached out several times to both the city as well as job one after receiving several calls from teenagers telling me that they still had not been paid. That's after being the, told that they would be paid in June and then earlier this week, they tell me with every day that they haven't been paid, they're growing more and more disheartened. I believe that it, should, it shouldn't be happening to the kids that y'all say y'all want to see to do better. But y'all do the things like this and and wonder why I know nobody wants to work for y'all or wonder why no kids get a job and apparently and go to the streets first. Account. This is my first job, so I'm expecting like, okay, we gave the direct deposit information. I'm supposed to be getting my check and then nothing ever came. After account of teens who feel let down by the city of New Orleans. Y'all have to get it together for the youth because we are the future. Hundreds of them started work with the city's job one program on June 5th and haven't been paid yet. The workers ages 16 to 24 say they were told they'd receive their first paycheck between June 27th and the 29th. When that didn't happen, WDSU went straight to the mayor for answers. There was a glitch in our ADP uh, system relative to them getting paid on their first check. That was two weeks ago. These letters sent to workers said they'd be paid between July 17th and the 19th. That deadline passed yet again, and many kids say they've already been told by the city that they'll have to wait longer. It's like they purposely. Radisha Harness Parker with the New Orleans Youth Coalition has been advocating for her summer workers to get paid from the beginning. Today has been more than 22 days since any of my kids have been paid and from what I can see on social media and just hearing, you know, in the streets, a lot of kids haven't been paid and probably won't be paid until August or later this year. I got this job not only because I wanted work experience because I've never worked before, but also because I was going to take the funds from here to buy things for school like textbooks, dorms, stuff, things like that, but it can't happen now. For the hard work that we did and getting nothing in return from it, it was just basically uh, labor. And I did go into job one not long ago and was pretty much told that they could not comment. Then the city reached back out to me and pretty much told me that they were still having issues with payments with the, the ADP system. They tell me some participants have been paid while other ones haven't. So they've been working diligently to try to get the matters resolved. And of course, we will continue to keep you updated on the situation. Reporting live from job one, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.